Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Ricciardi, gut health expert, licensed pharmacist, and fitness enthusiast. I help clients resolve bloating, gas, and other digestive issues so they can look and feel their best. Before I begin, if you are somebody that enjoys a protein powder or supplement regularly and you do not have any digestive issues or other health-related problems, this video is not for you. But if you do consume protein powder regularly and you notice that you kind of have some digestive issues, the protein doesn't really sit right, maybe you feel bloated, gassy, burp frequently, or your digestion kind of just feels off, keep watching. If you're somebody who cares about training hard, whether it be lifting weights, playing sports, or another sort of physical activity, probably understand the importance of eating properly to fuel your body for both performance and also recovery. And getting enough protein is a major part of doing this. There's a little bit of debate on what the optimum amount of protein is in order to maximize workouts, gain muscle, gain strength, recover well, etc. In general, it seems like getting 0.8 to one gram of protein per pound of body weight per day may be a good recommendation. And for metric system, this equates to about 1.75 grams to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. This means that if you weigh 180 pounds, which is about 82 kilograms, you would want to get anywhere from about 144 grams of protein to 180 grams of protein per day. I know firsthand that getting this level of protein can be very difficult, especially if you don't have a lot of time to eat. And many people do rely on protein supplements in order to hit these daily requirements of protein. There are hundreds and maybe even thousands of options for protein supplements. Back when I worked in the pharmacy, I wouldn't have a lot of time to really eat at work. Actually, I'd have basically no time. We wouldn't even get a break for most of the years that I worked there. I'm telling you this not so you feel bad for me, but just to highlight the fact that I did need to eat extremely quickly. And if I didn't do this, well, I just wouldn't eat that day. On days that I worked a 12 hour shift, it wasn't uncommon for me to have like six scoops of whey protein throughout the day. On the surface, this was great because it was a high in protein, low in fat, low in sugar, low in carbs. On paper, it's a fantastic way to get a high dose of lean protein. I did this for about seven years or so, from like 2012 to 2019. And while I was hitting my macronutrient and protein goals for the day, my digestion and gut health just felt absolutely awful. I was always bloated and gassy. My roommates would be pissed at me because I was always partying so much. And I basically assumed that this was just normal for many years. The supplement that I used for protein was perhaps the most widely recognized protein powder in existence. If you Google protein supplement, this will probably appear on your computer. And I didn't realize that this protein supplement that I consumed for years had all these other added ingredients that likely were destroying my gut health. In addition to being whey-based, which I have a little bit of dairy sensitivity to certain types of dairy, it also contained natural and artificial flavors. And if you see this listed, this could mean literally anything nowadays. It had sunflower oil in it, which is a very cheap processed oil with a high amount of omega-6 fatty acids, which are the highly inflammatory fatty acids. They had sucralose, which is an artificial sweetener, which one of the main SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth researchers found via research that the sucralose was the worst artificial sweetener in terms of the effects that it had on your gut health and microbiome. It had soy, which a lot of people have a sensitivity to. It had modified food starch, which may or may not contain gluten depending on the source of it. it also may or may not come from corn, which can be difficult to digest for a lot of people. These are just some of the extra ingredients that this product had, not even a full list. And this was a product that I was relying on to improve my health and improve my physique. But you can't really blame these companies. If you read all the reviews for these products, the number one thing that people always rate and evaluate them on is taste. And everything that I aforementioned in this list probably helps with the texture or the taste of the product. Simply put, most people just don't want to buy a different supplement if it doesn't taste good. People are looking for that sugary treat, that dopamine hit, that reward for completing a workout, or just drinking one in the middle of the day instead of a regular meal. I'm here to say that protein powder should be used for what it is, which is a supplement and not a dessert. They have officially become the new cereal, a junk food that is disguised as a health supplement. If you're somebody who cares about the gym, there's a good chance that you're drinking a protein supplement or shake every day. This means that if you are not digesting this protein powder well, you will feel crappy every day. And for somebody like you that is that dedicated, this is just unacceptable. If you want a protein powder that is far less likely to cause you digestive issues, 
take a look at these three. The first is a product called Code Age Multi-Collagen Peptides Powder. This one's good because most collagen proteins only contain one type of collagen. There's actually several types of collagen. This one is sourced from beef, chicken, fish, and eggshell membranes, so you get the full spectrum of all the different types of collagen, meaning it gives you all the benefits of hair, skin, nails, gut health, connective tissue, etc. A two-scoop serving, the scoops are pretty small, it gives you about 18 grams of protein per serving. This is the only protein supplement that I use. Otherwise, I get all my protein from real whole food sources. I like to mix two scoops into dry oatmeal and basically eat the collagen protein. It's unflavored, basically tastes like nothing. There's zero added ingredients. And compared to similar products, I found it to be just a better value based on the quantity you're getting and the price. Unflavored Naked Whey is number two. If you don't have a dairy sensitivity and aren't ready to fully jump ship on abandoning the standard type of protein powder, Naked Whey is probably the best option that I've seen. One serving is 25 grams of protein and there's zero added ingredients. The same company, Naked, also makes pea protein and rice protein. So if you are somebody that eats a vegetarian or vegan diet, these are great options that give you the same amount of protein and also have zero added ingredients. There are definitely other companies that make collagen proteins and plant-based proteins that don't have any other added ingredients. I'm not sure if I've seen another type of whey protein that can say the same. If you know of one, please let me know though. I hope this video helps you continue to make gains without suffering through digestive problems because if you're bloated and uncomfortable all the time, you won't be able to fully enjoy the body you deserve from doing all that hard work. That is all for today. If you found the video helpful or enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to my channel. I post new full length videos every Monday and YouTube shorts throughout the week. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week.